In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five circle option infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here, it will show you this option, option one, option two, three, four, and five. And then if you want, you can add some text here, and then you can add the detailed text for the rest of the options. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, PowerPoint University, please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my Telegram group with the help of this link. And if you like to support my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any dark color background. Then go to insert shapes from the basic shapes. I'm going to choose the old shape. Shape outline, make it no outline. The height and width, I'm going to make it as 2 and then align center align middle and i'm going to fill this color uh, with uh, the gradient fill so select the gradient fill option here so by default this color i've used before that's the reason it is coming so i'm going to use three stops so i'm going to click here to add one more stop and this is the color palette which i'm going to use to fill the colors okay so i'm going to choose the first one select the color use the eyedropper and click this purple color and the direction let me just make it a uh, linear up then i'm going to use the second color so select the second option go to the eyedropper and select the second color and then the third stop eyedropper and click it here and then you can just according to the requirement you can just add like you can add more stops or whichever way you want you can just see you can do like this if you don't want too many stops also you can simply go and delete also that is not a problem so once this is done the next thing which you can do is you can give a kind of a shading effect here for that i'm going to insert one more oval shape all right let me just increase the size and then press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to make it something like this you can see here the smaller one it looks uh, something like a crescent so i'm going to select this shape and this shape merge shape and i'm going to subtract it and this one i'm going to fill this with a purple color okay the purple color which is here so i can use eyedropper and use this one and go to the effects under the soft adjust increase the size you can see here and then you can just simply put it here all right so like this you can so you can make it some uh shading effect here so once this is done let me just add a few more shapes press ctrl d to duplicate and here i'm going to reduce the size maybe to 1.6 height and 1.6 width the same and again put it here if you want maybe i think 1.6 is somewhat slow um low i'm going to make it maybe 1.88 all right so once this is done so now i'm going to choose this color combination so again let me just select this one here select the second option again the same here i'm going to choose this option the lighter color and here more lighter color all right so you can see here now hold the control shift key just drag it here and here i'm going to choose this color combination you can see here the same color i'm going to choose here now here i'm going to choose the light pink and then here i can you can see here i've done this part okay so light orange color and then one more hold the control shift key you can give a little space or no space also maybe i can just reduce the space also here i can just move it i don't want any spaces so here also let me just move all right and then now i'm going to choose this color combination which is you can see here all right so this one a pink and then the same color i'm going to choose sorry same color i'm going to choose now here i'm going to choose this color and then more lighter color and the last one so let me just choose this kind of a lavender color sorry then more lighter and more lighter here all right so once this is done i don't need this uh, 
color palette i can select and delete this one now i'm going to add a few more shapes here again go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape which i'm going to okay so which looks which should cover the three circles so shape outline i can make it any dark color here dark blue sorry shape outline make it no outline and you can give some dark color here and then you can increase the transparency effect you can see here like this again if you like to add the shape outline also you can just add with any light color okay and you can give some transparency effect for the line also you can see here like this all right so once this is done i'm going to control d duplicate i'm going to add two more which will intersect or union these two all right send this two back and hold the control shift key and put it here and send this two back all right and you can add one more shape where i'm going to choose the rectangle rounded corner and here let me just make it a less curved shape outline i can make it maybe a kind of light color shape fill i'm not going to fill any color and here i'm going to give the dash types as like this all right maybe again more transparent for this also so you can see here we have added this one now you can go and add some text here maybe you can add few more shapes where you can add some additional text you can see here some text goes here hold the control shift key bring it down all right and then you can add some detailed text here so let me just put some title here i'm going to say title 01 i'm going to choose the white font open sans extra bold i'm going to choose center align and put it here now hold the control shift key just add it to these as well you can see here and this one let me just select and send this to back all right so it should not be visible here so you can see here you can add some text here i'm going to add text we can add some text here white font any font of your choice you can choose and put it here and then go to insert add detail text here white font reduce the font size center align you can add few text here also so you can see here like this and once this is done you can use some basic animation effect to do the animation like a zoom in animation effect you can do it and one more thing if you like to give more glow effect you can just go to insert shapes you can select some oval shape here all right and here i'm going to choose uh, the turquoise color so i can just move this a little bit and i can just choose the turquoise color with the help of just a minute let me just send this to back sorry yeah so now i can just choose this turquoise color so let me just choose this color and then i can go to the effects soft adjust increase the size you can see here and put it here make sure that there is no outline if you want you can increase the size also and you can give some kind of a glossy effect like this here and make sure that all these are sent to back okay 